All right, so I'm going to create some moon doll, and I'm going to use red lentils, right? These are from Kroger's. So these are the red lentils you can get at Kroger's. And there's a lot going for them, right? Got four grams of fiber. Got a little bit of fat, which is good for you, right? And eight grams of protein. And then we got potassium, calcium, right? Iron. So, and these are some of the tools that I'm going to use. So these are the lentils. I've soaked them, right? So I've soaked them. They look good. I'm going to use some cumin seeds and some Himalayan pink salt. I got um, a mix of turmeric, largely turmeric, and a few seeds and some other things. A little bit of tomato paste. I'm going to just use a little bit. Then these are some pickled garlic. The green stuff is pickled garlic. And I got some onions and some ginger. I'm going to use uh, coconut milk later on, right? And then I got some avocado oil. And then this is what's called a ponch foron. The seeds here, it's ponch foron. One of the best ways to add seed to any culinary experience, right? So I'm going to show you um, what I put together and what I think is one of the most delicious and healthiest meals you can concoct. I finally made Moong Dal and I followed the guidance from Chetna on her YouTube channel, right? Uh, Cooking with Chetna, I believe is what it's called. C-H-E-T-N-A. And she had a very simple recipe for creating Moong Dal. And that recipe is basically where you know, here, let me see if I can clear this back up. But it's a very simple recipe. And you basically use one tablespoon of turmeric and one tablespoon of salt. And uh, I've been experimenting with this for last week or so, last couple of days actually. And um, I actually got it to where I want it, got it the way I want it. And um, I've actually taken liberties with that recipe and created this, right? It's absolutely awesome. Absolutely awesome. I've always wanted to have moon doll like this. And here I use red lentils. In her uh, demonstration, she uh, used um, split moon doll. And um, I didn't have any of those, but I was wondering if I could do it with other lentils. And in the comments to her video, she asserts that you can. And so um, I was able to uh, pull off a a moon dog preparation over um, you know the couple of days that I've been doing this and uh, the recipe is fun. It's so simple, right? And what I've what I realized is that it's the water level that's a major component in having it come out perfect. These are the sauteed vegetables that I'm going to add in there, right, with the moon dog. And you'll notice that um, that green color. That is pickled garlic. I, I pickled some garlic and I pickled the onions. The onions are pickling with a cayenne pepper. Uh, that, they actually taste real good. And um, I have pickled ginger mixed with some cauliflower and some uh, red sweet peppers with a custom curry sauce that uses the tatka technique that Chetna demonstrates in her moon doll uh, video. And so I use a tatka technique and I've been able to adjust it to create like a curry uh, style seasoning to everything. And so when I combine these two elements together, right, these uh, sauteed vegetables and the moon doll, it's going to come together fabulously. And so you see I've turned the heat off, right? And it's still, still uh, simmering a little bit, right? Which is good. Um, I want to get the water down just a little bit more and also letting it sit um, for about approximately five minutes, right? Um, that is going to um, actually improve the flavor profile.
And when I look at these simmered vegetables, they're actually good enough right now, but I'm gonna let them sit another five minutes because that's going to tenderize them more. And whereas I leave the moon doll um, with the lid off so that more water escapes, here I'm gonna put the lid back on. And then what that's gonna do is um, increase the heat, right? As the heat starts to um, decline, there's still gonna be enough heat to um, continue to tenderize the vegetables uh, a little bit more and it's going to increase their flavor and the way that they uh, they feel when you're consuming them. All right, so I'm gonna put in the uh, sauteed vegetables first. And um, I don't have a tripod, so I'm gonna try to keep uh, the lens steady while I graduate some of this out of the pot. So far, so good. So I'm gonna put the moon doll on top of this, right? So let me cut away from that, from this, so that I can get that, um, get that ready. All right. So now, time for the introduction of the moon doll. I'll just pour it in like this a little bit. Okay. All right. Coming straight out of the pan. So I have it over those sautéed vegetables. So as you can see, you actually have a complete coating of the vegetables with the moon doll, right? So this is technically not moon doll, right? When you combine it like this, but you know, it's the moon doll preparation, right? Combined with these vegetables and it creates a, a very nice, very nice combination. Very similar to Brian Johnson's Blueprint Super Veggie, right? That he talks about, but this is much tastier. All right, so the lighting is a little bit better here. So this is kind of what it looks like, right? So good consistency. This is the consistency that I like, actually. I like this consistency. You know, you can also get it in a very soupy, much more, you know, there's a lot more liquid consistency. And that's fine, but I like this one. It's it's just right. It's like medium, a medium consistency. So I'm gonna stir this around so these vegetables can distribute a little bit more. This has had the opportunity to sit for a second. And so this is absolutely delightful in both its form and its taste. This is one of the tastiest things I have ever had. When I say it's tasty, it is tasty, tasty, healthy. It gives you everything in one bowl. This is absolutely fabulous. A few things to note about this is that I did add some coconut milk during the cooking of the moon doll, which lightens its color and also adds additional flavor. So there's coconut milk, right? And so, and then tomato paste, right? And so the combination of tomato paste and coconut milk, right, gives it more of a, a tiki masala sauce type of um, edge to it, right? And then I use half a tablespoon of Himalayan pink salt because I've actually lost the the taste for excessive salt. Like, I don't like a lot of salt anymore. And so that may be because I keep my electrolytes balanced most days, right? Eating fruits early in the day or at certain parts of the day. And so I think due to my electrolyte balance, I really don't need all that salt to season food anymore, right? I can eat eat the food pretty much as it is. And so I just put a, a half a tablespoon instead of the full tablespoon of salt that the original recipe uh, called for. And so um, that makes it taste a lot better because if there's a little bit too much salt, I don't like it. And so this came out extremely well. And I am supremely pleased with this. And the use of cumin seeds, like in the original recipe, to uh, add it during the tatka phase, uh, that was genius. And so um, I hope you have enjoyed this, this exploration of 
food, diet, health, and overall um, sustenance to the entire being because this is both health and comfort food at the same time. And so it satisfies the overall being on multiple levels. So I definitely encourage you to try this out.